What's up guys, it's me Caitlin from CCO Tech and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be comparing iPhone versus Android and telling you which one is better. Now, when I tell you which one's better, it obviously means which one will fit your needs the best because everyone's different. They have a different preference in phones. But before we get started with this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like the video if you haven't already because it helps out the channel a lot. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. So we've all heard this argument, which one is better, Apple or Android? People can go on and on and on about this, but I want this video to kind of settle that and give you a new outlook on the difference between these two operating systems. Because it's more than just, oh, you have green text bubbles and I have blue. It's more than that. So I'm going to start off with the benefits of iPhone because it's kind of like once you're in, you have access to so many other Apple products to build your ecosystem because essentially you have an iPhone, but then there's so many other products that you can have that work around your iPhone that make your workspace more efficient and just easier to access different things because they're all interconnected. For example, let's say I filmed a YouTube video on my iPhone and then I wanted to get it to my MacBook so I can edit it and then upload it to YouTube. All I would have to do is just airdrop that to my MacBook, edit it, and post it. You know, airdrop is an Apple feature, it's not on Android, so that just little things like that really help with the efficiency of your device. On top of that, Apple really emphasizes the importance of privacy. So they've added a lot of features that allow you to feel like you have a lot more privacy on your phone. At the end of the day, it's a phone from a company. They're going to have access to some information, but they definitely make sure that you feel protected when you're browsing and using your phone. And so with Apple, I feel like so many people that you would see just going to the store or at school would have iPhones. So if you're surrounded by people with the same phone operating system as you, it's gonna be so much easier to connect with them. Obviously, that's not saying that it's way harder to connect with people with Androids, but iPhone, you have the benefits of iMessage and then AirDrop and all these quick communications that aren't really accessible to Android users. So those are kind of the main benefits that I see when I think iPhone or Apple. But no phone company is perfect. Apple has their disadvantages. Because although the Apple ecosystem seems like such a great thing, and it definitely is pretty great having access to so many devices that connect, but these devices are not cheap whatsoever. You're going to be spending a big chunk of your paycheck if you wanna really get these. An Apple Watch, a MacBook, an iPhone, an iMac, all of these things are based, they're practically half a thousand dollars and higher. Now, if you have the money, by any means, go get whatever you need, but it is expensive, and that's definitely going to be a downside to this ecosystem. They have a budget phone, which is the iPhone SE, but you're still gonna be paying $400. Not everyone has money to get that phone. So that's why I feel like Android is a good alternative because their price ranges are so diverse. You could pay for a phone that's $3,000 or get one that's 200. It really depends on the phone. But you know, Apple, it's not just price wise. Sometimes it's features. Obviously, if they're emphasizing privacy, then you're not gonna have access to all of the customizability options. With Android, I feel like a really great advantage that it has is that you can customize this phone like to the max. There's practically no limits. I've seen people, you know, jailbreaking phones was a big thing back then on Android. You can just import so many different games that might not be supported on the Google Play Store. So many different packages that just have a bunch of stuff that really maxes out your phone. Like you can max out an Android device. If you want it to be used specifically for gaming, there are phones out there for that. The thing with Android is, and then the, it comes with so many different form factors. There's foldable phones, you know, the Galaxy Z Flip, Z Fold, all of those things, Android devices. 
And then most of the phones, when they're trying to, let's say, I guess you could say break records, they're going to be Androids. Phones with the biggest batteries, phones with the best cameras, phones that have a in-display camera notch. Like, there's so many things that Android has that it, it just wows me. So all of those crazy phone advancements are most likely going to be seen on an Android before you ever see them in on, on an iPhone. So if you really like the idea of really making your phone whatever you want it to be, Android is a really good route for you because you can really just max out whatever you want on it. But then, just like any phone, there are disadvantages. When it comes to connecting an Android to an iPhone, let's say you want to switch from iPhone to Android or Android to iPhone, you know, they have different apps and they're not all supported with each other. So sometimes you won't be able to move all of your data back to whichever phone you're trying to switch from because the apps are different. And iPhone obviously has features that Android doesn't have and Android has features that iPhone doesn't have. They all work together, they are inspired by each other, but they're obviously two different operating systems. And for example, you know, before the release of iOS 15, you were not able to FaceTime with an iPhone user. FaceTime was strictly iPhone. Now they have introduced FaceTime links, which I feel like is a great, it really includes Android users because you know, not everyone wants to switch to iPhone, but having that feature be available to both operating systems makes it a lot more convenient. For both operating systems, there aren't major disadvantages. Depending on how you see it though, everyone has their preference and there is bias. And so I kind of covered advantages and disadvantages, but now let's say you chose to go down the iPhone route. What would you expect? So if you decided to go with iPhone, what I did notice with iPhone is that you know what to expect, you just don't know how much better the next thing will be. because. The iPhone 12 and 13 have very similar designs. They look practically the same, but there are subtle improvements and they kind of compete with what they had before. So with the iPhone 12, you know, they had their, they had the same models, the Pro, Pro Max, the standard and the mini. But with the 13, they improved their cameras, their screen, display and other features with their operating system and then the bionic chip you know it gets better every year they improve off of what they had the previous year so it might not be in the, the design necessarily but you're going to see subtle but effective changes in each model that comes after it and with iphone there's really only one real budget phone option which is the iphone se which i kind of talked about earlier in the video which is priced at $399. $400, not bad at all. And then you have the iPhone SE 2022 edition. They kind of just improved on what they had with the original iPhone SE 2020, which is kind of what Apple does. So that's priced at $350. Obviously, as I've been saying this whole time, I'm really emphasizing on this ecosystem. You have the Apple Watch, iMac, MacBook, iPad. There's so many different products that Apple has that can really just fill up your whole house and your whole house is Apple. It's definitely very convenient because it's all Apple so they're all gonna work in very similar ways. So that's kind of gonna cover like a brief synopsis on what you could expect from going down the iPhone route. Now let's say you decide to go down the Android route. This route is very intricate. There's so many different paths within one route. There are so many different kinds of Android phones. There's foldable phones. There are phones where it's basically an in-screen camera. There are phones with huge batteries. I feel like Android is really there to break records. They really change the game of phones, but it might not always be enough to get people to switch, but it's always the inspiration. Android kind of does things first and then, you know, other phone brands see what has been done first and then try to make it better or try to do it their way. So with Android, there's so many different kinds of phones you can get and I think that's really cool. And not only are the phones very unique, but the price points that you can get with certain phones, they can be super expensive or super cheap. and 
you're never gonna get something that's utterly terrible unless you're buying it on like wish or something but you could get a good budget phone for around 200 to 300 dollars that's still from a good brand and it can make phone calls text surf the web play games do basic phone tasks and if that's all you need then android really has that going for you but at the end of the day whether you choose iphone or android none of them are perfect they have their flaws and obviously you might have a feature on iphone that android doesn't support or a feature on android that iphone doesn't support so it's really about what you want your phone to do Personally, I have an Android and that's what I use on a day-to-day -day basis, but Apple has intrigued me and I'm debating on whether or not I will switch to iPhone in the future. And obviously, if I do, you guys are going to be the first to see that switch. And I'm going to give my honest reviews on, you know, switching over to iPhone after being with Android for many years but i hope you guys did enjoy this video kind of get informed on iphone versus android and there really isn't a better one over the other thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did enjoy give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one